Hi everybody, Gary Heidrich here for Fish and Chums Fishing Report for this 4th of July weekend. You know a lot of people will be going out. There's already a lot of people out here at Table Rock. We're in the Kimberland City area today. And this week we've caught a lot of fish in this area. A little bit tougher fishing today, but we still caught fish. So we got a good report on Table Rock. Bull Shoals, I was out at Bull Shoals the other day. We got a little report on it. And of course Lake Tanicomo. Boy, the trout fishing continues to be very good. Okay, let's start off at Bull Shoals. Bull Shoals, uh, we drove down to uh, Kadok the other day, and uh, the water looks good. It's not real muddy. It's, it's, it's a nice quality of water. And we dropped down, walked into the Big K Marina. It's open, visited with the people there, picked up a few lures, looked things over, and got a pretty good report on bass fishing. Bass fishing's good, and what you can do is put in at the roadbed going back in towards uh, Big K. So you can actually drop your boat in there just off the roadbed and bass fishing is the key for bull shoals this weekend. Early in the morning and late in the evening top water's been good. Just go to my old standard, the pop R. The pop R is good and we've had some good reports on spook fishing as well. And then during the day they've been going out and bumping spinner baits off that high water back in the we up in the timber and uh, the little bushes and uh, just slow rolling those spinner baits by those bushes dropping your rod tip they've been picking up some fish on spinner baits and we've had some reports of back into the coves during the uh, late morning hours even some topwater fishing and a few fish have been caught on buzz baits during the warmer parts of the day go back off you may want to try some drop shotting out in the deep water, 25, 35, 40 feet of water. That water temperature is 80 degrees out at Bull Shoals, and uh, the, the lake is still up about 27 feet or so. It's still high. So look at Bull Shoals for the weekend. I don't think it's going to be very crowded there, and if you like to spinnerbait fish, do a little topwater fishing, Big K area is the place to be. Okay, let's run over to uh, Lake Tanicomo. I was out there the other day. There's a good, re, good flow of water. Uh, they, sometimes they just got two generators going, sometimes four generators going. But uh, uh, Trout Hollow down to Cooper Creek, Cooper Creek down to Monkey Island has been good for uh, rainbow trout. Orange has been my favorite color. I'll put two orange uh, power eggs on and just a little split shot up above it, maybe about a foot, eight inches to a foot and then let that thing get off the bottom and just bounce it on, on a nice little drift. Pink is good too. If the hot orange are not on it, go to the hot pink. And uh, of course chartreuse can be good anytime. And they've been picking up some fish on spoons and small spinners. And so Lake Tanicomo looks good. Again, Trout Hollow down to Cooper Creek, Cooper Creek on down to Monkey Island and even on down past uh, the, the landing. I think it's going to be good trout fishing this weekend. All right, let's go here at Table Rock. We've been in the Kimberlin City all uh, fishing all week. Monday we had a tremendous day out here. We caught over 20 bass up to five pounds. Look at this five pounder I caught. And uh, we've been picking them up on crankbaits and uh, we picked some walleye up this week as well. In fact, the other day, last week, look at this shot of Rick and I, some three and four and five pound walleye. Boy, we had fun catching walleye. And what they're doing on the walleye is just using your crankbaits. Make sure there's a little chartreuse. Fish the points, troll the points. And even if you get into some walleye, stop and do some casting. Because I tell you, they're doing some crawdad. The crawdads are active right now on Bull Shoal, or excuse me, here at Table Rock. And some good fish have been caught on crankbaits. Up in the shallows, maybe five, six, eight, 10, 12 feet of water. And so uh, the bass we've caught, I don't know how many bass we've caught this week, but a bunch. But a lot of small, it seems like we're catching a lot of small, smallmouth bass. In fact, this morning, here's my buddy Brandon caught a nice uh, smallmouth. But we've caught a lot of them that size, that size of fish. But earlier in the week, we caught some three pound smallmouth. So uh, smallmouth fishing, uh, you can uh, pick up your favorite crankbait, make sure there's a little chartreuse on it, a little orange on it do some casting in the shallow water points, you're going to catch fish, I promise you. And, uh, like I said, the walleye off the flats, off the points at the lower end can be productive. And if you want to try up the James River, we've had reports of uh, some nice bass being caught up there off the flooded timber on spinnerbaits. 
and we've had a few reports, just a few, on topwater baits like buzz baits. But I hope your buzz bait, your topwater fishing is doing better than mine. I haven't done real good on topwater fishing this spring at Table Rock. Okay, before I leave you, one other thing. Uh, up at the Cape Fair area, there's been some pretty nice crappie being caught. In the brush piles in about 18, 15 to 18 feet of water, jig, jigged minnow combination, and around some of the deep docks. So if you want a few crappie, I'd go to Cape Fair. Okay, uh, wrapping this thing up, uh, last week my great friend Catfish Rick and I were with Laura in the Table Rock. We were trolling and casting crankbaits. And the crawdads are up on the points. We caught smallmouth bass and some real nice walleye. But this guy caught the biggest walleye of his life. Catfish Rick, come on in here before we wrap this up. Catfish, I know that you caught a, I was with you, you caught a 10 pound walleye. What do you think of that? I thought it was incredible. He about pulled me in. It, it actually pulled the boat a little yeah. bit. <laughs> <laughs> that 10 pound walleye was a dandy. And yeah. when we tried to get him in, he was longer than the net, too we, big to get in the net. But we, we <laughs> did a great job on that fish, and we caught several three and four pounders, and a couple even bigger than that, and you caught a four pound uh, smallmouth. So yeah, that was a dandy. Smallmouth, yeah. walleye, good fishing at Table Rock. Okay, yeah. uh, thank you, Catfish Rick. Hey, I tell you what, guys, we love having you with us every week here on the program. Be sure to subscribe. Subscribe. Come on, join the team, because what happens when you subscribe, you get all of the notifications, because we're going to be doing some other things than reports. You'll get all those. It's free. Tell your friends about it. Join our team. And be sure to share and like. One other thing, folks, we'd love to hear from you. If you'd like uh, to share a photo with us, a fishing photo, or if you'd like any information, share information or ask any questions, email us at fishingchums at gmail.com. Happy Fourth of July weekend. Get out here and get bit with us. Happy outdoors, everyone.